everyone, it's me, and today I'm here to do a small review slash, I don't know, it's not really a demo, I haven't done demos in a long time, but I'll do like some swatches if you guys are interested, so I'm going to get on to it. Um, if you guys are curious about my nails and the color of what this is, um, I actually got this from the Dollar Tree, believe it or not, and this is from LA Colors Color Craze. And the number 888, and this is called Kiss Me. Trust me, I've heard you with it because I tried doing this video before, and my daughter was just knocking at the door. So, anyways, I call it Barbie Pink. Um, so, this is the color, what it looks like. I have two coats on just because I actually like my nails to be really, really um, vibrant. And normally, when I'm making videos, they always look like complete shit. So, this is this color. So, really pretty. I love Dollar Tree um, nail polishes, they work really well. Also, make sure you shake it just in case. Next thing from the Dollar Tree is this weird speaker. <sighs> what is this by? E Circuit? Mini powered speaker. Mini. I'm not even... Oh, that's in a different language. I was about to go on about that. So it's supposed to be a power amplified high definition sound. So here's the box. And this is. I took the thing off because I didn't feel like screwing it back on. Um. <sighs> I can't say this is the best speaker, obviously, for, because it is from Dollar Tree. It's like their headphones. They are just not the best. But I just got it for my daughter to use because um, with her tablet, she usually needs speakers. So, uh, yeah. So, here's this. This is what it looks like. You just like that. So, that's all right. It's not anything fancy. Obviously, Dollar Tree's stuff is not that, that fancy. Um, here's that Dove deodorant that I said that I got from Influencer. And I do like it. Um, it has an interesting smell. I don't know how to explain the smell. I like it, but I, um, I would have to try more because I'm used, so used to, like, a secret that, um, oh my god, my nose, sorry. I don't know. But it's not bad for, you know, uh, testing out for free, you know, so that's good. It's good. I'll still use it up, so it's, like I said, it's kind of... It's got a very interesting smell. I don't know how to put that. Just interesting. Okay, um, so this is going to be just random. I, I have all my stuff right here, so bear with me. Next two free items that I had gotten, and this was from, if you remember, the Pinch Me. Uh, this is the, um, Give Me Moi, I think that's what it says. It's a very sheer, light, just very neutral just a gloss sorry if you saw me lick it I just kind of like the taste of lipsticks I don't know I've been like that since I was a child so I wish it would have been in this color because I would have worn it but you know I like it above all it's pretty so thank you pinch me for that this one was from the Walmart beauty box if you guys remember my last video or a couple of videos ago, and they gave me the Neutrogena um, Moisture Smooth Stick, and that's just the color with that. So it's mm, on my lips, it looks just like my lip color. My lip color is not really pretty, but that is what I was given with. So there's that, and yeah, that was from the Walmart Beauty Box. Uh, pretty soon, uh, I'm going to re dye my hair, and I'm going to be using this right here. And I got this, I believe, for like $3 or 3 something. So not bad. Um, I'm hoping it will turn this color for Valentine's Day. How cute would it be? I mean, this nail polish with this hair color. I mean, come on. It'd be great, right? And um, this is just what it's showing you what it will look like. So I'm probably about the top one right there. But my natural color is like black. But yeah. So I'm going to be doing this probably next week, maybe? I don't know. Depends on how I feel. But... I'm definitely going to be doing this, so stay tuned to see that. Next, we have the So Fresh and So Clean Heat Green Tea Wash Off Mask 15 Minute Facial Therapy Self Heating Mud Base Formula for all skin types for him and her because this is a very. Ooh, what do you call that again? I forget what it's called, but it's just for both genders. Um. I like it. It does heat up your face, believe it or not. Or it heats up and it makes your face really, like, steamed. I don't know how to explain it. But I do like it. It's really good. And it was only 3 $4 at Walmart. 
Uh, some people have seen things like this at Dollar Tree, but my Dollar Trees haven't cared anything like this as far as I've seen, so it's alright. But I do like it. So if you guys are interested in a mask, like, um, self-heating, so I'm not even going to put this as a dupe for Glam Glow because it's not. Um, but you can give this a shot and see what you think. It's in my, um, acne is kind of toned down a little bit. Of course, they left me with scars because I kept picking at them. Don't do that, but I can't help. I'm a picker, so. Uh, this is also from Dollar Tree, which I really do like because my nails look really crappy and I try to get the best way I could. So, you just, these are the extras down here, if you can see them. And there's already like, uh, what do you call that? Nail polish remover inside of this tube. So, you get the tip and wherever you messed up, you just erase it with this, as you can see. And yeah, so I like this. I like having it. It's a nail polish corrector pen. Dollar Tree, if anyone's interested. There's that. Uh, next thing is what I got from the Walmart Beauty Box, which is the Hydrotherapy Wet Skin Moisturizer from Corel. And I do put this on after I am done taking a bath. And then I dry off with my towel. And it does leave my skin pretty, pretty moisturized. But I also use other moisturizers over this just because I like to be moisturized. It's just my thing. So there's that. And um, if I'm correct, I think it might already be down to here. Somewhere around this area. I don't know. I'm not going to say I just stare at it. But yeah. Next, I actually had bought the CoverGirl. Um, what is it called? True Naked Jewels. And I haven't tried all the colors to be honest with you. They're kind of chalky and I don't want powdery. Um, so the one I've been using the most is this color right here. Which should, what color is that? I don't know what this is. I think it's quartz. I don't want to be wrong, but I think it's quartz. Hmm. Well, anyways, that's the color I've been using. I don't want to be on that for too long, so let's see if I can swatch these. That one doesn't really show. Does that one show? Kind of. It's like a pearly color. But you can see it's like really powdery if you kind of just smear it. Uh, next is this really pretty gold, which I do like. That one kind of shows up a little bit. Now, I'm not sure if I'm swatching these correctly, but this is just me actually putting my pressure onto this. Because a lot of YouTubers, I think, just kind of, you know, they want to sell the products, which I understand. That's why we try them, right? Give our honest opinions, and that's what I like to do. Going back to my first one, I'm wiping it. So don't worry, it's not messing anything up. Um, I don't know if you can see that, but there's like a powder right here. So if I... <laughs> blew it away but there's that so they're pretty pigmented not bad so far oh the green one didn't really show up that great and I actually kind of rubbed into that a little bit so there's that next is like this I don't know what I call a Cleopatra gold so mummified gold <sighs> another more powder and then the last one of course should show up for sure I mean look at that black's always the one that shows up um, so as you see, I kept blowing on it because the powder, um, would actually hang on to the edges right here. So, oh, my nose, excuse me. But those are the swatches for these. Um, and I tried my best to swatch them as wonderfully possible. God, I can't even talk. So, excuse me, I'm sounding really stupid. But, there's that. Like I said, they're not bad. I haven't tried all of them on my eyes. Um, but when I did use, I did try the blue on my eye and I kept smearing and not the way I want it to so that I don't know if it was it can't be my brush because I use my brush for so many of my palettes that I do have so I, I guess because like I said it's powdery slash chalky other than that though it might just be that color in particular I haven't like I said I haven't tried the green on my eye mm. I've tried this this kind of this for like up here but none of these ones so but if you guys are interested, it's about ten dollars um, at Walmart. So, yeah, here's that. And how many shades do you get? I'm sorry, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You get eight colors, so it's a unique thing. And I think they have a neutral. 
But I already have a lot of neutrals, so I'm not worried about it. Um, I don't know if I ever showed this to you guys. This is the Wet n Wild by Fergie. And this was only a dollar from Dollar Tree. But they no longer have this. But I've used the crap out of, out of some of them, as you can see. Because um, I love this palette so much. So pigmented. I would show you, but I have so many swatches on my arm. But I'm going to try to go with something. I don't know. Like, I, you can tell, I just use this color a lot. These two right here are my favorite. And they're just so beautiful. Oh, yeah, and this one. They're so beautiful. They actually blend really well into the eyelid. I'm just so afraid to use, like, the deep browns. Like, I know a lot of professionals out there. I'm not one of them. I suck. But I try. So, oh, yeah, if you guys wondering what I'm wearing on my eyelid, it's that pearl quartz, whatever it's called. But... Because normally I just go with this palette. This is my favorite. So this is no longer at Dollar Tree unless you happen to find it. But this was only a dollar at Dollar Tree. So I think I've mentioned this like last year. And I also had gotten another one because there was only two of them. So that's like your basic neutrals. And then you have like your smoky eye type of one. Um, as you can see I didn't use that many out of here either. I did swatch them. But like I did use this one day I forgot why I wore it but I did but I probably go from here all the way up this way I don't go down this way I'm afraid I think the only time I would ever use that is if I went to either a really hard rock rock concert I guess and um probably Halloween other than that I don't really wear them even though they are pretty I'm just not into dark shades like I used to be when I was younger when I was younger in my teenage years I would most likely be wearing these colors more than these colors so but they are really pigmented I'm gonna try oh I fucked up sorry my language I can't do it I don't know how these youtubers do it okay so I got like these right here so let's I know it doesn't look like I swatched them really well but they are really pigmented because they don't even come off my hands like the other ones did which annoys me mmm -hmm. I want to see this color. So I'm looking at this one. This is what it looks like on my fingertip. Oh, what do you know? It's got that powder thing going on. What? What? So there's that. All this, some of the swatches. And then there's the ones from that jewel palette. Um, I don't think there's anything else to show you guys just yet. If you guys are interested in the Glam Glow uh, Multi mask set review um i will probably do that in my next video because i'm not done trying um all of them yet so if you hear anything that's my tub ah that's so weird but anyway so yeah um that's really all i got right now so i can't get over this color can you guys like look at that that's so pretty it's such a, i love pink i really do um, but yeah, so that's all I have right now. Anyways, like, comment, and subscribe. If you guys are interested in more videos, let me know. Either way, I'm going to do them anyway. They're just going to go by what I want to put. But if you guys want something, um, requested or something, just leave it down in the comments below. Yeah, the comment below. Comment below. I swear to God, you guys, I can't talk today. I cannot. Oh, and by the way, I went back to this foundation. I know this is, like, old school, but it's oldie but goodie. Um... Yeah, so I'm also in the shade 810, if anyone's interested or not. So, I think that's it. But yeah, that's all I have today, you guys. So, yeah, I'm sorry for being very awkward today. I'm just kind of tired, but I'm not going to continue on. So anyways, the jewels, nail polish, you guys are interested, check out Dollar Tree and Walmart. That's usually where you're going to find a lot of stuff. I think my next place to hit up because I heard Soap and Glory are now at Target again. I'm pretty sure they were there before from what I can remember a few years back. And then they discontinued it from there, went somewhere else, and now they're back. So they brought it back. And I am going to go and get um, some stuff eventually. I don't know when, but eventually. And then I will share um, my thoughts, reviews, haul, whatever you want to call it. So anyways, thanks for watching guys. Much love and yeah. Bye.